Hello, today's lesson is lesson 85 part 1, the multiplying of zero facts, the multiplying by five facts, and how to identify the commutative property of multiplication. So here I have 7 times 0, and we read that as 7 groups of 0. Remember that multiplication sign means groups of. So 7 groups of 0. Well, if I have seven groups, but there's zero in each group, I still have only zero people. What about five groups of zero? Still equals zero. Two groups of zero? Still zero. And zero groups of zero is, of course, zero. So anytime we multiply by zero, the answer is always zero. That's the same as if I did zero times seven, my answer is still zero. Okay, or zero times five. Any time I, mul anytime I multiply by zero, my answer is always zero. So here I have this problem. Seven times seven times 10 times one times zero. I can find this without multiplying because I know any number times zero always equals zero. Okay. So here I have seven times zero equals zero and zero times seven equals zero. If you notice, the, these two problems have the same factors and product. The only difference is that I switched the numbers in between the two problems. Okay, This is called the commutative property of multiplication. And what that means is that I can multiply numbers in any order and they will be equal to each other. So 7 times 1 is equal to 1 times 7. Because 7 groups of 1 is 7, and 1 group of 7 equals 7, and those two numbers are equal to each other. Okay, we're now going to learn how to multiply by 5s, and we've been practicing counting by 5s to 100. Okay, We can count by 5s when we tell time, and also when we count nickels. When we count by 5s on a clock, we're telling t we count the minutes past the hour. So here's my clock. And if the minute hand is pointing to the one, that would be five minutes. Okay. If it's pointing to the two, that would be 10 minutes. Three would be 15 minutes. Four would be 20 minutes. Five would be 25 minutes. Six would be 30 minutes. Seven would be four, uh, 35 minutes. 8 would be 40 minutes, 9 would be 45 minutes, 10 would be 50 minutes, 11 would be 55 minutes, and 12 would be 60 minutes. When my minute hand is pointing to the 12, I know that it's been 60 minutes since we started. Okay, So we multiply by 5's as we go around the clock. So let's count together. So we go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Okay. So if I was said four groups of five is how much, well, I'd look at the four on my clock and know, oh, four groups of five equals 20. All right. So five times, if I wanted to count by nickels, let's say, uh, five cents times two. Well, if I have two nickels, how much money do I have? I have 10 cents. What if I have three nickels? Well, if I have five groups of three, that would be 15 cents. What if I have seven nickels? Well, five groups of seven nickels equals 35 cents. Okay, so that is it for this lesson. Have fun practicing your five facts.